The AmazeFit T-Rex 2 is a military grade durable watch with multi-band GPS accuracy that has swimming, biking and running and triathlon capabilities. And the T-Rex 2 can track your heart rate, your steps, your training load and even estimate your VO2 max. It's got a bright AMOLED touchscreen display and it has 24 days of battery life, all at a crazy affordable $230. And yeah, you know, something doesn't sound right here. So let's dig into it. So in this video, we'll dig into where the T-Rex 2 excels, uh, where it's lacking a little bit and where it's, you know, missing features all together so that, you know, you have an idea uh, if the stuff that's missing is a deal breaker for you personally. We'll test that multi-band GPS accuracy for, you know, open water swimming, biking and running. Uh, we'll test heart rate data and heart rate accuracy. And then we'll wrap it up with kind of like my overall thoughts of the AmazeFit T-Rex 2. And I actually paid the full price, the $229 for this watch, because, you know, one, uh, I wanted to have a full picture of, you know, most of the triathlon capable watches that are on the market today and then two uh you know all of these features they they seemed a little too good to be true to me and since i purchased this watch you know i actually have seen it go on sale uh for as low as like 180 bucks uh, but what I'll do is I'll leave links to the best price that I can find for you guys, uh, both in the video description here, as well as like a, a top pinned comment below this video. Now I've had this watch for a little over a month now and the watch itself, you know, it's not the smallest watch that I've ever tested. It's, you know, somewhere around 47 millimeters in diameter and about 13 and a half millimeters in depth. So, you know, it's not super massive by any means, uh, but the screen is pretty large. It's actually a 1.39 inch AMOLED touchscreen display. It's big and it's bright uh, and the touchscreen itself actually worked pretty well for me. Uh, but I do love the fact that you've got four buttons here to navigate the watch just in case it's rainy or you're wearing gloves or something like that. Now, swiping up will pull up recent workouts and various cards that you can scroll through. Uh, swiping down will give you this kind of quick menu, which is kind of nice because you can actually adjust things like screen brightness here. Uh, swiping left to right shows you notifications or it kind of brings you back throughout the watch operating system. Swiping right to left brings you, you know, into their little watch app list area. I haven't explored it that much, uh, but there is some cool stuff in here. Uh, for example, there's like this GoPro app that you can install and you can trigger recordings on your GoPro from your T-Rex 2 watch. Uh, pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, sleep tracking wise, uh, I love watches that track sleep, mostly because, you know, it's just something that I personally need to work on. Uh, but the T-Rex 2 can track your sleep give you a sleep score and even show you your different sleep cycles. Now, I can't really speak to the accuracy of those sleep cycles, uh, but it is pretty amazing that, you know, a watch at this price point has that feature. Now, uh, I did find sleeping with this watch a little bit annoying, um, mostly because I found this bright AMOLED display very easy to trigger by just gestures as you're sleeping. And I couldn't find a quick, easy way to toggle it off. But the overall like weight of the watch didn't bug me when I was sleeping. I know a lot of you guys get bugged by that stuff. Uh, if you're familiar with like a Garmin watch, the weight of the T-Rex 2, you know, it's a little lighter than something like the Epix, uh, a little heavier than something like a Forerunner 955. Weighs about 61 grams. And, you know, I would say that it does feel pretty big on my little wrists. Uh, and I think a lot of that just comes down to the, you know, overall design of this watch, just kind of this like rugged design. Uh, and then, you know, a side note, uh, I don't see an easy way to change the watch band on this particular device. So, it, you know, if you're looking to kind of switch this out with a nylon band, uh, that might not be an option for you. It might be a deal breaker for some of you guys. Now, the AmazeFit does have a smartphone app that goes along with this device. Uh, the app is called Zep. And it's actually not that bad. Uh, you'll see stuff like your sleep score, your steps, your average heart rate, uh, and any sort of recent activity that you've done. And in the mobile app, there's also an you know, add account section where you can actually link and upload activities to sites like Strava, uh, Relive, Apple Health, and WeChat. 
Uh, I tested it with Strava and I actually found it to be the best way to actually get data off of this device. Now the T-Rex 2, uh, it comes in four colors, uh, Astro Black and Gold, Amber Black, Wild Green, and Desert Khaki. Uh, the design of the watch, you know, feels very similar to something like a, a Casio G-Shock, which is, you know, another very popular watch. Um, you know, a very rugged looking watch. And I think a lot of people really like the look of these watches. Uh, I actually chose wild green color here, just, you know, so you know that that's what you're gonna be seeing throughout this video. And then, you know, when you get this watch, you know, right out of the box, the watch is set to only turn on when you gesture, which, you know, personally I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but through the settings, you can actually set a watch face for when the watch is inactive. Uh, it's just a little bit weird, um, but I added this watch face so that it kind of makes it look like it's always on. Uh, but changing, you know, any of these basic settings means that you're no longer gonna get, you know, anywhere close to that 24 day battery life that's advertised. Uh, I was typically using this watch in that multi-band GPS mode, uh, which you can actually get up to 26 hours of battery life, um, which, you know, for me, that, that's more than enough. Uh, but then personally for me, uh, I'm using this watch, you know, probably an hour a day or so, uh, and I'm seeing, you know, a little less than two weeks of battery life and just kind of my like day-to-day, -day, everyday wear kind of stuff, uh, which is actually very impressive for an AMOLED screen. Uh, just be aware that, you know, depending on what you guys do with this watch, uh, you might not end up with 24 days of battery life. Now the Amazfit T-Rex 2 has over 150 built-in sports modes. You've got stuff like triathlon mode, you've got track mode, which you don't see on every single device on the market. Uh, but the T-Rex 2 actually has this really interesting little feature where it can try to recognize if you've started an activity and it'll ask you, you know, if you're running, for example. Uh, they call it their smart recognition and it currently works with about three or four sports. And they're actually planning on adding more to that list. It's not something that I found all that helpful, uh, but I have noticed that it'll fire up if you're like sitting underwater for long enough, it'll tell you like, hey, do you wanna start a swim activity? Uh, but in my experience, you know, hasn't been super helpful, but uh, it is a very unique feature to this watch. And then, you know, when it does come to swimming, this watch, you know, isn't that bad. Uh, it does work. It'll keep track of how far you've swam. Um, I definitely prefer to see some more options here, like a, a drill mode or, you know, some way to track kick sets. I also tested this watch, you know, for open water swimming accuracy. And, you know, I would say it was okay, but not great. Uh, I tested about 15 other GPS watches for this video I'm working on. Uh, this one ended up towards the bottom, uh, but it did work. I would just say, you know, expect a certain amount of, you know, distance and accuracy, maybe like 15 to 20%. And, you know, that is with the multiband GPS enabled. And then on the bike side, uh, this watch does work, um, but it is not able to connect to any sort of third party accessories as far as I found. So for me, you know, that stuff like uh, a power meter, uh, Varia radar, uh, even, you know, like a, a basic external heart rate monitor. And, you know, that is probably gonna be a deal breaker for a lot of cyclists, but, you know, maybe not for you guys. Maybe if you just need GPS, uh, speed details, uh, maybe this watch would be enough. And then on the running side of things, uh, things look pretty good. Uh, I've actually seen running power data coming off of this watch. I'm not sure what's going on here because it's not something that I've seen in any of the marketing material. Uh, and I've only been able to see it by exporting a .fit file from Strava. Uh, so that might be like a feature that they're about to enable. I have no idea. Uh, or it's also possible that I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but the multi-band GPS tracking, as far as running goes, I would say, you know, it's maybe not quite as accurate as some of the new multi-band GPS options that I've seen from Garmin, uh, but the tracking here is, you know, perfectly acceptable. On this seven mile run, uh, I would say it is clearly better than something like the Polar Pacer Pro in red there, uh, but definitely not quite as good as something like the Garmin Forerunner 255 in light blue. Now, on the back of this device, the T-Rex 2 has an optical heart rate sensor that also detects SpO2. Uh, personally, you know, I've never really found SpO2 to be all that helpful or accurate when compared to some sort of like medical grade finger unit, uh, but it might be something that's useful to you, you know, especially if you're doing some sort of altitude training camp or something like that. Uh, the heart rate data that is coming off of that optical wrist monitor, it's not that bad. Uh, like a lot of optical heart rate monitors, it does seem to struggle 
to kind of get started as you start running. And then later on, it just kind of locks on. And in this case, uh, you might see here that it takes a really long time to lock on. So, you know, for me, you know, I think that this heart rate monitor, you know, might be fine kind of as a guide. Uh, but if you are really focused on some sort of heart rate based workout, I don't know that this watch is going to cut it for you. Uh, and then, you know, that brings us back to that same really large issue. Uh, any other watch, we would just say no big deal. If you want good heart rate, use some sort of affordable chest strap and you're good to go. It'll be way better than any sort of wrist based optical heart rate monitor. But in this case, with the Amazfit T-Rex 2, uh, I haven't been able to find any sort of way to connect an external heart rate monitor. So that's probably one of my biggest issues with this device. Okay, is the Amazfit T-Rex 2 one of those like too good to be true situations with false advertising? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, this watch is extremely impressive for the price. Um, I was kind of focusing on, you know, swimming, biking and running. There's actually a lot more that this watch can do. And for me personally, you know, no, it's not my favorite watch. And, you know, I'm sure that you've gathered that there are like just a few things that annoy me about this watch. Uh, I think if I was focused on running and maybe occasionally swimming and biking, and I didn't really care about all of that external connectivity, uh, I would be super excited about this watch at $230. Or, you know, you might even be able to find this watch on sale. Uh, but at that price, uh, I do think that we have to kind of overlook a little bit of its shortcomings, just as long as you guys are you know, very aware of exactly what you're getting with this watch and you know what this watch can do uh, and what it cannot. So, you know, what do you guys think? Uh, is this a watch that you'd consider? Uh, I'm pretty impressed with what the Amazfit is doing with this watch at this price point. And it could be very interesting to see if they can kind of fill in some of those little gaps with you know, future updates or uh, just with like future software versions of this. Uh, either way, uh, be sure to get out there, swim, bike, run, rinse, and then repeat it all over again. And we will see you guys on the next one.